It's time to start the feed. If you have any stock in Apple computers, you may want to dump it. Microsoft is taking advantage of Intel's new 286 processor and support of larger memory with the release of Windows 2.0. The operating system will make full use of Microsoft Word and Excel programs and, of course, killer third-party apps like the word processor Amy. Does this mean the end of the Macintosh? We'll have more coming up in the loop, so stay tuned. American toy stocks are down. Even for Worlds of Wonder, the maker of last year's hottest toy, Teddy Ruxpin. Toy analysts say they were expecting flat sales even before Black Monday's disappointing numbers, since no American companies have come up with this year's big hit. In fact, this season's biggest smash seller is made by Japan with its Nintendo Entertainment System. A base price of $80 buys a video game system with sophisticated 8-bit graphics. Oliver Stone's platoon is, set, is coming to set top VHS players this week after a protracted legal battle about the Vietnam War film's home video distribution. The movie will arrive on your local video store shelves at retail for 99 bucks. The film was nominated for eight statuettes and won four awards for best editing, best sound, and the two big ones, directing and best picture. I personally will be waiting for the extras on the laser disc. Cowabunga looks like comic books are becoming an important place to find new TV shows because the cult favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have debuted in their own five-part miniseries cartoon based on Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird's independent comic book parody of Frank Miller's Daredevil and Ronan work. Die-hard fans of the Turtles are worried that their dark heroes will be lightened up for a young Saturday morning audience. Will it catch on? Stay tuned. We'll have more in the loop. And finally, good news for the environmental movement. The House of Representatives overwhelmingly approved legislation that could require the federal government to operate vehicles that consume methanol and ethanol by 1990. The $28 million initiative starts the country down of the path of alternative fuels and means that our dependency on foreign oil should start to become a thing of the past in the next years to come. Well, that's it for today, but don't worry, the feed doesn't stop here. I'll be back tomorrow to feed you again with all the news you need to know. I am Layla Kaylee, and you've just been fed. Attack of the Show, weeknights at 7, only on G4.